Hey family. So this one, this one might be triggering. <clears throat> and this one is stories are stories. Are you ready? <laughs> stories are stories. Every time we feel the need to apologize or to receive an apology from another, it means that we are holding on to that story, to whatever story or stories around that situation which you feel you need to uh, apologize or to receive an apology. And again, nothing wrong with, with being in a story and holding on to a story. It's just, are you aware that you are in a story? When you say things like, oh, imagine like I have a coffee date with a friend and then I, for some reason, I just don't feel like showing up. And then I say, oh, I'm so sorry. Uh, I didn't go, you know. And we do these things in our human connections a lot, you know, and we want to kind of be polite and to honor uh, everyone and to be respectful in all of these things. But sometimes that brings a, a lot of stories, you know, like being too careful, sharing and talking and like, oh, I'm so sorry for this. I'm so sorry for that, you know, and we can let go of all the guilt and all the blame that is connected with any kind of apology even the um, oponopono i have never really resonated with that for a th infinite reasons and i can and um, from another uh, perspective i do resonate with that and i can share about that on another video <laughs> <clears throat> but every time you feel you need to apologize or you need someone to apologize to you, there is guilt and blame involved. And there is like a whole story like, oh, I want to apologize because I don't want to be disrespectful. I blah, 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 blah. You know, like it's it's literally that it's just you create stories and you hold on to stories and again there's nothing wrong with that but are you aware that that's happening so we are moving when we speak about new earth and like how our connections and how we relate and connect everything is changing and shifting and we are realizing more and more how many of these things that we are used to do um, are just unnecessary, you know? It's kind of unnecessary to hold on to, I need that person to apologize, you know? They did me wrong and I need them to apologize. Or, oh my God, I feel so guilty for something like considered big or sometimes very small, you know? And it's like, you feel like the guilt or the blame, you know, and we can just let that go. Like you had something planned with someone else. You didn't show up. That's okay. You just didn't show up. You can, you can like move on to whatever it is where you are in the moment. You don't need to hold on. Why did she not come? why is she why is this happening to me blah 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 you know when our minds can create the most elaborate stories you know and our minds can create like many stories at once about the very same thing so this is what i want to share stories are stories and and yeah, that's it. I could kind of explain a little bit more and go a little bit deeper, but it's kind of all said, you know, all said. Anytime you feel the need to apologize or to receive an apology, it's because you are holding on to that story of the past 
that that you feel you need to apologize for or receive an apology for, you know? And you're not here. Like, who the fuck cares if you didn't come, na na na? I'm here now. I'm here now. Let's move on, you know? And not playing these games of guilt and blame and blah, blah, blah. And being very aware when our minds create stories, you know? So in any kind of relationship we have with others or connection, and it can be something super simple, but being very aware of the stories that your mind makes out of that situation, out of that person, you know? And this is what I want to offer. Awareness. Stories are stories. <laughs> I love you, family, and thank you for watching. <laughs>